this first part, in case I've missed to mention a few of these uh, on these pages. This is spelled B-U-L-L-I-E-T-T. -T. It's more like free online classes. There's tons of other material available, like in ancient Iran or old dynasties. There's Professor uh, Turaj Daryai, Professor Parvana Pushariati, and of course tons of other people that I just can't name right now. But a lot of material available, uh, both lectures, books on modern Iran, uh, and different eras of Iran. Yeah, one cannot uh, look at Middle Eastern history without looking at strategic value of oil, especially for the British for the longest time and then the U.S., and how that is interconnected with a, a geo strategy. Um, and then another thing is uh, the importance that India or Indian subcontinent have, India, Pakistan, Afghanistan, in the eyes of the British, vis-a-vis -vis especially Russia for the longest time, and how that's shaped uh, uh, foreign policy of uh, especially um, British Empire at the time, Britain and United States this last century. It's extremely important to know that um, this book and the companion series, the one I mentioned by Daniel Jurgen. Yeah. If you don't have time to read the book, definitely take a look at the companion uh, PBS video series that came out with it. And this is a book by David Halberstam. We already talked about him, about the uh, his work in uh, about the Vietnam War. He did another war book about some of the people that were involved in the civil rights movement uh, called The Children, I believe. This one is in the 1950s. And uh, when this book, uh, when the library got this book in early 90s, it must have been the first couple of weeks, I probably two weeks after they got it, I checked it out and I was kind of thumbing through it. And it was uh, sad and in a way because you go to page 368 after a few pages of describing uh, what happened, uh, how the British and the Americans uh, actually led the coup in Iran. Um, the bottom of a page 368 um, says, On September 23, 1953, Dwight Eisenhower, of course the president then, in a private ceremony, pinned the National Security Medal on Roosevelt. That's Kermit Roosevelt, uh, the, Brit the American guy who was uh, running some of the show, a behind-the-scenes show, on the streets of Tehran. Um, two weeks later, Ike noted in his diary, our agent there, a member of the CIA, worked intelligently, courageously, and tirelessly. I listened to his detailed report, and it seemed more like a dime novel than an historical fact. So there you have it. That's the view of the President of the United States when he helped cripple the legs of a democracy that was barely standing on its feet. But there you have it. There is history. So take a look at these. We need to focus on the future, future of uh, humanity, future of the planet. And uh, we need to stay focused, regardless of all the bad things that might have happened in the past.